Hey, uh, my sushi coat journey started eight years ago when my favorite jeans at the time broke at the knee, half year into wearing them. And as a designer, I started researching the essence of cloth repair and I came up all the way uh, in the history at Shashiko and I just tried it. So I ripped the pocket off, um, grabbed uh, some needles and thread and started repairing the knee. And um, it looks really bad if you refer to it to the work now uh, we've been doing. But I enjoyed the process so much, uh, so that, that got me hooked into repairing. When I started it, it was mostly for friends and uh, as an inspiration to others, putting it online like a big library of repair art for people to see and to, uh, to get inspired and you know, repair themselves. And since then I've been actually, most of the time we're repairing for uh, personal favorites of people. People's favorite jeans, they come from all over the world to our studio. Uh, even from Japan itself. Uh, each product is labeled, uh, they're all uh, numbered and sealed. And we keep track of every repair of the jeans. So, uh, and a good thing now is we see a lot of clients coming back every year. For the Shoshiko repairs, we only fix what's broken. So we um, reinforce the thin areas, we fix the holes, and it's also, uh, the composition is based on the damages. But in that detail, there's a lot of uh, playing with fabrics, uh, textures, tonals, uh, tones of the fabric, um, and of course the stitch patterns, which can look really interesting if you see pieces like this with all kinds of different repairs. This has over 40 repairs, uh, which you can see really nicely. Um, the, all these patches, almost all of them started out as raw denim. Uh, this is one of the first ones, so they fade also like the jeans. Uh, we only use old jeans to repair old jeans, so it's completely circular. The only thing we add is the threads, the cotton thread. Uh, the technique is very old. It's actually simply straight, uh, straight stitching, so it's a line stitch. Um, it dates back to the Edo era, uh, which was around 1600 to 1800. But there have been uh, examples from even 800 years which have the straight running stitch. Firstly, it was mainly uh, used by farmers, which were, had hemp ropes. Um, and it wasn't just bare necessity, they had to fix their ropes and it became like a bodo patchwork. Bodo means uh, repair, uh, repairs over repairs, so all the layering. Um, although we're moving to a more sustainable world denim-wise uh, and globally, uh, it's for us harder to find uh, proper quality cotton donor denim. Uh, we often request our followers on, online to uh, look in the closets to donate jeans they don't wear anymore so we can pick the right tone for the right repair. Revolutionizing the denim world uh, with the scale of denim and the scale of our little studio uh, is not a main goal of us. We try to make the consumer, the, the user, the wearer more uh, aware of what they can do with their old pieces. They cherish their product and keep it for a long time and also see the evolution of, uh, of a gene. And um, while repairing it, you, they get really up and close into it. So again, it's not that we want to repair the world uh, stitch by stitch. We want people to know about this technique and about what it can do for you and uh, what it, uh, it can, how it can improve your relationship with your clothes. So less waste, that's the whole thing. We actually are organizing workshops for private customers, but also for business. Uh, teams, sales teams for uh, denim brands, but also like we did for Denim Privé two years ago, an online workshop, uh, which was in five time zones. It was a really interesting group of uh, friends and uh, relations of Denim Privé. We did, uh, we sent out uh, the repair kits in front um, and they could repair their own jeans uh, with our tips. And uh, we talked about the history and uh, we're starting to do that more and more as people request also more and more teachings. Uh, but it's really nice to see that the, the public is also uh, repairing their own clothes. It is about using less. Think carefully of what you buy and why you buy it, if you really need it. And um, sometimes it's better to invest in a slightly more high quality product, which has a longer lifespan than to go for the quick fix, uh, which is boring after a few months. Um, take it slow for business owners always to stay true to your own creative vision, not to copy any, anybody. Innovate, don't imitate.